Jimming, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capilian Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Now, guys, what I'm going to do is to show you how I try to program my... Uh... Okay, so just give me a minute. I will try to close this. Uh, okay, so again, uh, my the, the software that I used in programming this simple motor control uh, for this Highwell PLC is this Highwell Happy version 2.2.11, okay? Now guys, as I said, the this uh, software is free from Highwell uh, site, okay? You can download it. Now, so I'm using this one for programming the uh, PLC, this model, 16, let me read it for you. This one is 16 SOR, okay? Now, uh, actually, the the PLC, it has eight digital inputs. Then eight, uh, let me show you the, the, okay? So the PLC, actually, it has uh, eight digital inputs starting from X0, X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, X6, X7, okay? Then there are also eight digital outputs, okay? Now, it is very good in controlling a simple motor control, just like what I did, okay? Now, guys, uh, let me walk you through with the program, okay? So that you will also appreciate how, it, it, how easy it is to write the program, okay? Now, actually, uh, the the network for this PLC is uh, TCP IP. So let me make it online just to show you. Yeah. Just give me a minute. Okay, so we will try to make the PLC online so that we can see the program uploaded to it. All right. Now for the PLC online, the network is TCP over IP. Then the default IP address is 192.168.1. 111 okay then just make it online here then it will okay so this means okay is it already online why it's not being displayed here okay anyway we will see uh, plc okay why it's not getting online Is there a problem with my switch okay anyway let's see now first uh okay so there's another let, let me try again make it online okay online okay now it's online now if it is online it should be displayed here okay address one meaning this is at station one high well plc okay then you can go exit then it will display the information for the plc now guys i'm very new to this one i have uh, the school just acquired this PLC, then I'm just trying to test it before the student will use it. Okay. Now the PLC address is here, then the port, then some information here. Okay, so I will not go to the details. Now what is important here is to okay. Now uh, let me open the project. Open project. Okay. Now for this one, before you can open the project, then it will ask for. Uh, password because during the creation, I think this is the one uh, simple motor. Right? Maybe this one. Okay, I will try to open it. Okay, so it will ask for the password. Okay, now during creation of the program, you can. Uh, okay, then let me. Maybe. Why password error? Is it in a caps lock? Okay. So I'm in a caps lock, okay? Now, uh, the program, this is the program. So let me open it. Now, guys, in PLC, ladder programming, okay? Now, previously, I've shown you how I tried to do some simple programming in Omron. Now, here, uh, in Omron, we have the rail, okay? The left and the right rail. Then we have the rungs. Now, for this... Uh, uh, PLC programming here, so you will see it will be the 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 rank will be represented by network. Okay. Now, as I said, it's very easy. It's very easy to use because you can see here now, like this one. These are series connection switches. 
then parallel connection switch then this is the coil output coil okay then there are some again this is the parallel branch now you will be using this especially if you are going to uh, like uh, you are using it for lats or the or condition okay then we we have here the output branch like this one this is the output branch okay then if you want to add a network or add a rank okay so uh, let me walk you through with the program First, as you can see in my simple motor control, I have there the selector switch to put it in auto or in manual. Okay, so that one, uh, actually I'm using this one. Okay, so this series switch, then we just, when you click this, let's say here, you can, uh, let's say you want to put another switch. So that how uh, simple to use that one. Let's say you want to uh, use a series uh, another switch here or another contact here okay but this time i don't want to i will just i will just delete this one okay so the here uh, when you you need to specify the uh, input uh, channel we can say that is the input channel but uh, same like in omron but here the labeling is different now now okay when you identify the the point, okay. So I am using now because you can see here, uh, you can see X zero to X ten twenty three. Meaning uh, because there maybe there are some uh, PLC which has uh, IO modules, okay. So that's why XO is X zero to X one thousand twenty three. That is a very big uh, digital inputs. Then we have also the uh, we have also the YO uh, output. Likewise, it will be to 1023. Now, I don't know yet, okay, to be to be honest, I don't know yet some of these uh, components, okay? Now, I'm just using the digital and digital output. Anyway, uh, I will try to uh, do some more programming for this one because I intend to use this for my student. Okay, now, actually, uh, I'm using tags here. So X0, that is the input terminal. Then slash is slash. That is the way you are going to uh, specify the tags. Okay. Because what is the what is the purpose of the tags? You will be using it in uh, SCADA. Because uh, for the PLC, if you want to create some uh, HMI or graphics display, you have to use the SCADA. Now, again, the SCADA software is also free. So this is very good uh, hardware, which comes with a free software. So, okay. Now we have our selector switch here. So uh, as per my simple design, if I will put the selector switch in auto position, so when it, this is uh, closed, then I'm going to activate my auto lamp. Okay, so my auto lamp, I will try to activate, okay, that auto lamp, then also my power lamp, okay, so meaning the control panel is already in auto position, then there is power already in the control, okay, then I have my network 2 or my rank 2, now this one is the simple control, okay, X1 for the input, uh, digital input terminal number 2 or X1, so I'm using my push button start here. Then it is in series. Now, actually, I have some video tutorial for uh, interpreting the ladder diagram. Now, actually, this is an end condition here. So if X1 and X3, okay? Now, actually, TV stop is wired in the code panel as normally closed, okay? But you have to use the normally open uh, signal here because this one you can use the you can change it easily to normally open and normally close okay then uh, this x2 i'm using now the uh, the uh, normally open auxiliary contact of the magnetic contactor being used for the lats okay then again i have a branch output here to uh, power up my uh, run indication lamp, okay? Now, I have my rung number three, which is the trip. If it trips, let's say this motor control, I mean this magnetic conductor trips, then 
uh, I will try to, actually this is not magnetic contactor, it's just a simple relay that I used for the standby motor, okay? So the, the, the programming is very straightforward and it's very easy to use, okay? I like this one, okay? No, this one is an empty rung, no problem, okay? As I said, I'll be honest, this is my first time to use this one, okay? Since uh, I'm going to use it to teach my student in uh, machine automation, so I'm just trying to discover this one. Okay. So anyway, the programming, as I said, is very simple. Okay. Now uh, let me show you the uh, the video. Okay. Now we have the video here. Okay. So this is my video for the. Okay. So let me run it for you, okay? So as you see here, uh, we have here the, okay, wait a minute, but it's not running. Okay, so let me just, okay, let me move this away. Okay, so let me run it, okay? Now, as you can see here, the display in the PLC, you will be able to see the power, then the run, if it's in the run mode, then you can see also what uh, input uh, terminals are on, like this one, X3. I think this is the stop uh, push button because as I said, it is in the normally closed, okay? Now, okay, so this is the PLC and these are the relays that I use to activate some of the lamp and the mag magnetic contactor, okay? Now, th this... Uh, PLC is the relay output, okay? Now, this is my magnetic contactor that will uh, run this duty pan, okay? Then that is the standby, okay? Now, I already wired it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, mm, uh, okay, so this is the control. So let's put it in. Uh, if I will put it in, out, uh, in auto, Actually, I can also monitor the ladder program. Later, I will go back to that one because I'm just going to show you how this PLC is controlling this simple motor control. Okay, as you can see, based on the program, if I put it in automatic, then two of the relays will be activated to uh, power up or to display the proper indication in the motor control, like the uh, power on and the auto position. Then you can see also in the digital inputs and output the terminals which are in on or high condition okay x1 and x2 x3 y1 and y0 and y1 okay now uh, this time you can just try to start the fan by pushing the push button here okay okay now as you can see the PLC tried to energize the conductor here. Okay. Then it will, PLC also is the one uh, driving this indication lamp, the run lamp. Okay. Now, is the, 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 the correct, uh, I mean, the real time status of the, the IO is being reflected in the PLC also. I like this. Okay. Okay, then the the wiring is very easy because you need to just press this, then insert the cables or the wire. Okay, now as, as uh, we can show you how, if you will try to trip this, then based on our program, the PLC should start the uh, standby motor here, okay, or the standby fan, okay. So that is very easy uh, programming. This is very good for uh, P, uh, ladder programming, uh, especially for beginners, okay? Now, uh, let me go, back, let me pause it for a while. Then let me uh, go to my program again, okay? So now this is the program. Okay. Now actually, you can see also the actual uh, or real time 
condition of these points, okay? Now, you can do that one by going to the, where is that one? I think it's in the web, okay? Then start monitor. So you can see the actual condition of the uh, points. Like this one, my selector switch is already closed here. Then these outputs are already energized, okay? Now, let me show you the real time. Okay, I will stop it. Okay, so if I will stop, now this one should open. Okay, this one. So I will stop in the control panel. Okay, now the selector switch is still in the out position. I will remove it. Okay, now only the uh, push button switch, which is wired in a normally closed position in the control panel. That's why you can see the contact is closed here. Okay, so if you want to monitor, just go to the debug. Then start monitor, okay? So I like it very much, this simple software, okay? Now let me show you again, okay? So I will put in, okay? As you can see, the this selector switch is in auto. Then the, this is being represented by the red color, meaning the this contact is closed. Then my output for auto lamp and power lamp is already lit. Then I can start the fan, okay? Let me start it. Okay, so momentarily this one closes, then the latch is working. Okay, now my motor contact, my magnetic contactor is energized, then my ramp lamp is also energized. Okay, now I will try to trip it so that we can see if it will try to run the. Uh, okay, I will trip. Hold on. Okay. So as you can see, the MC1 run lamp gun, then the overload, uh, overload protection normally open contact closes, then it will run the trip lamp. Then at the same time, okay, where is that one? Then this is the branch output turning on my simple relay or high relay to activate the uh, standby fan. Okay. So guys, this is a very good uh, software and a very good PLC, even though it's very small in nature or in size, but I think it is more powerful. Then uh, I have to check also the uh, communication port of this one because there are RS485 for Modbus. If you have some Modbus device, then maybe later I can try to do some programming for integration. Yeah. Now, guys, uh, the next part of this will be the SCADA, how we are going to create a simple graphics for this simple motor control. Okay, guys, so again, thank you for joining me. And uh, as I said, uh, my aim is to help a PLC programmer, new PLC programmer like me. Okay, so let us learn it together. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, please support me so that I can reach more uh, aspiring uh, BMS engineer or control engineers who are just trying to start their career. Okay, so these are for beginners. These are not for experts. Okay, so once again, if you are new, watch, like, share, and subscribe. Then you can also put your comments. And if you're really happy with what I'm doing, you can show your appreciation. Okay. Now, again, thank you for joining me. And before I will end, God bless us all. Let's all be safe. And bye for now.